Well, good morning again, church family. Can't remember which fireside chat this is, probably the fourth or fifth one. Uh, but it's good to try to make contact, even though I can't see you. Uh, and I, I would just want to remind you, every Sabbath morning at 1130, uh, we're live streaming the sermon from the church, and I encourage each of you uh, to attend if you're able. Uh, this coming Sabbath, the uh, the uh, bullet point or the sermon in the sentence is uh, God's promises outweigh your problems. And uh, I know God has a special blessing in that message for each and every one of us. Uh, it's a blessing for me because it's from God. It's certainly not from me. And I hope you can be there. Also this morning, I thought I'd share a little uh, book recommendation with you. I call it a recommendation because I haven't read the book all the way through yet myself. Uh, the title of this is Di Discipleship Handbook. I hope you can see that okay. Discipleship Handbook. You can uh, purchase it at the ACBC or if you don't know what that means or how to get to it, uh, you let me know and somehow, some way, we'll get you a copy. I'm just going to read uh, in the front. There's a lot of uh, recommendations for the book by many different people. I'm going to read you one of the shortest ones by John Bradshaw. He's the speaker and director of the It Is Written uh, television program. This is what he has to say about this discipleship handbook. He says, uh, continuing to grow in faith is a privilege of all believers. The discipleship handbook will encourage your growth as a disciple of Christ connecting you with the powerful principles of God's word and leading you deeper into a fulfilling relationship with Jesus. If there's anything that we need in this day and time is a fulfilling relationship uh, with Jesus Christ. Uh, so I encourage you, uh, spend some time in the word uh, with this little book or, or whatever it takes for you. Also, uh, we've been working on the church directory. I have most of the information together. Uh, I'd just like to say if there's anyone that, I uh, just want to repeat, uh, if there's anyone that doesn't want their physical address or their mailing address in the church directory, please let me know within the next few days. Uh, just uh, trying to get all the information together. And if, any of your, if your phone number has changed recently or anything like that, please let me know so we can have the directory as accurate uh, as possible. Uh, also, I'd like to share a little devotional thought. Uh, David Goswick, Ann Goswick's husband, if you've, if you've been to prayer meeting, you've probably met him. Um, he sent this out, and I just want to read one little paragraph, again, on God's Word. It says, there is nothing more calculated to energize the mind and strengthen the intellect than the study of the Word of God. I think we'll all agree with that. It goes on to say, no other book is so potent to elevate the thoughts, to give vigor to the faculties as the broad ennobling truths of the Bible. If God's word were studied as it should be, men would have a breadth of mind, a nobility of character, and a stability of purpose that are rarely seen in these times. The search for truth will reward the seeker at every turn, and each discovery will open up richer fields for his investigation. We need more investigation of God's word and the principles of God. And, and God's word is the place to go to find all that. I hope you're spending some time. I encourage you to dust off that old Bible. Spend some time in the word. Uh, we learned just this last Sabbath that if we, two things, if we read the word of God and if we obey, two conditions, read and obey the Word of God, that the Word of God has a way of removing all unholiness. Think about that. Removing all unholiness from the unholiness that has crept into each of our lives and preparing us to see Jesus in the clouds of glory someday very soon. So I encourage you, spend some time in the Word. Uh, next time we get together, I, I have a plan. I pray this plan works out since I'm telling you about it. I don't want to have to apologize. Uh, but uh, I believe we'll be able to do this, uh, have a uh, guest person for our fireside chat next week. Uh, there's a little boy, and most of you know this little boy, uh, that came back after having his own private devotions, and he said, Dad, uh, God showed me something when I was having my worship today. 
And uh, I know you won't know who it is, so I'm not going to tell you, so you'll be here next week. But also, uh, the message that he shared with his father is uh, a profound message that each of us need to hear. So I look forward to next week's guest, uh, guest speaker, if you will. And I thank uh, all of you that have been praying for my friend Gene Chamberlain's brother. His brother's name's Terry. Uh, Terry has uh, the coronavirus. He's been on the ventilator for several weeks. Uh, he is improving. In fact, I understand they've sent him to a rehab uh, institution. And uh, he's still on the ventilator, but they're slowly weaning him off. Even I believe had him up on the side of the bed uh, or maybe even standing up uh, recently. So... Uh, continue to keep Terry in your prayers that he will have complete recovery. And also, I encourage each of us to continue to, to pray that the Lord will bring us back together uh, soon. Uh, we live in a messed up world, uh, but we serve a God, uh, a God whose promises are bigger than our problems. And I believe he can bring us to back, back together, not just our church uh, uh, physically, but spiritually bring us together. And the ultimate, bring us together in heaven someday soon. So keep us in your prayers, and we do the same for you. Let's pray now before we go. Heavenly Father, I thank you for each and every one that's taken the time to listen to this little talk. And Lord, uh, we need each other uh, as desperately as we need you in some ways. Uh, when we're closer to each other, it helps us be closer to you. And Father, I just pray that you'll lift this, uh, this stay-at-home order someday soon. And uh, Father, in the meantime, help us each to draw closer to you. Bless our little church family and each and every uh, avenue that uh, we might experience your presence, even though we can't be together. Father, we know you're uh, coming soon. We know your plan is to send your son and split that eastern sky. And so until then, Father, we look up and, and with hope looking for the day that we can say, Behold, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he has come to save us. Even come, Lord Jesus, is our prayer. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Have a good one, and uh, look forward to next week, that guest speaker. Have, uh, have a good week, too. Bye-bye.